Hello. Yes, it's me. Sorry. I have no excuses. None. Life happens and things get tough and I am a person that goes ebb and flow and um, it's just my personality and my MO and I apologize. Um, but anyway, let's move on from there. Um, I am happy to be here and saying hello. I um, work for a school district, so I have the summer off. I have 73 days off, but who's counting? Um, I took a three week hiatus or planned interruption from HCG, and um, I'm glad I did. Uh, it was a successful planned interruption. I did not gain any weight. I um, knew from my experience from last year that it was just going to be too difficult to um, stay on P2 with all that was happening around me and I wanted to be successful and my way was to do a planned interruption. So what I did was went off the injection, stayed on the three days of 500 calories and then proceeded with P3 type eating. And, you know, had a couple of splurges here and there, as I knew I would, but without any severe consequence. So here I am. I am back on P2 and feeling really good. Um, in fact, I, I think I've been on P2 for a week. I don't have numbers. I don't have um, much to say as far as record keeping. Um, I do better, and I know I do better, if I don't do all the journaling and all the recording and um, counting and weighing and all that stuff because I think I'm going to stay on this longer because I have a long way to go. I think I'll stay on it longer because I'm not doing all that. Um, I'm trying to make it a lifestyle and a lifestyle does not mean recording and counting and journaling and all that. So, where am I at emotionally on my journey? That's, that's the hard part. Um, I, I had a really big victory today. Um, uh, my husband and I are probably gonna lose our home um, over the summer, during you know, probably by fall. And um, it's pretty, pretty difficult to walk that walk. And we have a lot of pressure um, from outside sources. And I actually today had a meltdown. And I actually later even had a panic attack. But the reason I'm sharing that with you is because being on P2 and having some real emotional issues it's very hard and um, even during my outburst and bawling and crying my husband just let me do it which <laughs> you were stuck on the wall with a suction cup <laughs> sorry about that I was uh, vlogging and I had my phone in one of those suction cup holders that you use in a car and um, the suction gave way. So where was I? Um, golly, can't remember. Um, hang on, give me a second. Uh, oh, having a meltdown. Let me see if I can get my face a little bit lighter. Um, having, a, having a meltdown and being on P2 is one of the hardest things to I do. I yelled and said, I want to eat, I want to eat. And my husband didn't know what to do with me, so he just let me be. And it was the best thing because it made me feel my emotions. And you guys, that's what I have been battling all my life, is feeling my emotions not and stuffing um, when, when I'm having emotional pain. So it was a really, it was a big victory today. I was able to feel what I was feeling and deeply. 
And I had a really, really on protocol pop kind of day. And so I'm putting, patting myself on the back. You know, I don't know if every day will be like that. But my goal is, and my hope and desire is, to stay on P2 during the summer, even with the emotional roller coaster that my husband and I are on, knowing that there's a silver liner and we will have victory in this somehow. And um, I'll be a few pounds lighter and I'll learn how to feel my emotions. I felt embarrassed today because my emotions were so raw and um, they're on the surface and I, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to the on the surface emotion. So that was kind of weird. Anyway, I have a tough job this weekend taking care of Blue. She's such a busy girl. And she she weighs as much as SoCal Plum does. <laughs> uh, not that SoCal Plum is a big girl, but Blue is a big girl. <laughs> anyway, SoCal Plum had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. I love you, girl. And I love a lot of you, too, and Toy, I, I'm praying for you every day. We're communicating, and I just know there's going to be some wonderful things that happen out of this, out of the ashes of our life. So anyway, um, here, let me show you what Blue, how busy Blue is. And this is Blue, the doggie that I sit for and she is two and a half no one and a half um she's tired she was at daycare doggy daycare all day and then this is her view of the west hills blue are you gonna say hi no okay hi blue isn't that something all right I am going to get off here and um, go watch some television because my husband and I, we don't have TV. We have like internet feeds so we can get online and do some, um, you know, shows on TV, but we don't have cable. So we don't get the daily news. And so I'm going to go watch some news and see what's up. I just right before I did this vlog, I watched some footage. Um, on CNN about the fires in Colorado Springs. How sad is that, you guys? Anyway, make some of our problems look pretty minuscule. All right, I don't know when I'm going to vlog again. I um, just am not going to commit, but I do know that I um, will occasionally check in and this just doing this makes it easier and I'll keep you up to date and we'll have some successes here. All right. Thanks for listening and to my yammering. Anyway, see ya. Bye. Love ya.